killed Schwarzenegger, defeated the Predator by figuring out how to disappear. He slathered himself with river mud and vanished, simultaneously overpowering the alien who killed his comrades and shrinking his pores. <laughs> Last week, I wondered if I, too, could become invisible by applying a mud mask. Since I can't easily access the Central American jungle, I ran to my local CVS armed with two dollars and extra bucks and purchased a Queen Helene mint julep mask. <laughs> the perfect testing environment already had crystallized. My husband, Ryan, who always arrives home before me after work, surely would notice the DSW shoe order delivered to our front porch, roll his eyes, grab the much-anticipated T-strap pumps, and attack me with the following snarky remark. So, what'd you get? <laughs> However, I outsmarted my spouse slash predator. I parked around the corner, smeared Queen Helene mint julep mask across my face, dematerialized, and entered our home. <laughs> knock, knock, I smirked. Babe, Ryan hollered from the living room. Please explain to me why you bought a pair of shoes. You are broke. I slinked into the living room where my predator held his shoebox in rage over his head. A roundhouse kicked the box from his grip, leapt to catch up like a football, and scurried outside to wave down the next day air delivery helicopter that had dropped off my pumps. Get me to the chopper! I screamed toward my potential rescuer. I flung off my sneakers and slipped on my new heels as if two extra inches in height would help me catch the pilot's attention. And then I realized... I was invisible. <laughs> I whimpered while the helicopter shrank into the sky. When the chopper became a dot, I burst into tears. Sobs streamed across my body, disintegrating my mint julep facade. I lay on the sidewalk, flailing, mutilating my arms with my pointy heels. My predator jogged around the corner and stood over me, legs in the shape of an A. Bleed, bitch, he bellowed. I pierced his asshole with one T-strap pump heel and seethed while he cupped his anus in pain. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> you got time to duck, he hissed, slitting my throat with my latest credit card statement. My predator fist pumped the sky, threatening to activate the self-destruct mechanism attached to his wrist. And then I remembered my predator also was my husband, Ryan. Baby, I blubber, don't do this, please, I'm sorry. I'll work on my shopping addiction. Here, take the pumps, I don't need them. <laughs> Ryan dangled one pump by its strap like a sour kitchen rag and muttered, you were one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> we returned home holding hands. Queen Helene mint julep mask, and in a way, Arnold Schwarzenegger saved our marriage. My brain breaks when I try to think about how much power one bottle of Queen Helene mint julep mask contains. I brought a bottle with me tonight to demonstrate. <laughs> Please don't be alarmed while I evaporate and become one with the air swirling around your nostrils. I assure you that I will remain at the podium during the rest of this address. <laughs> bottle of Queen Helene mint julep mask to great use just in the past week since I discovered its powers. The other day near the Five Points Marta station, I spotted a skink being mean to her dog. <laughs> her cute little brown dachshund wasn't in the mood to hustle across the street, so she dragged the poor thing over the hot pavement, probably damaging its paw pads and claws. Quit beating that wiener, bitch! I screamed. <laughs> She turned around and flipped me off, smacking the dachshund on its haunches just to get to me. I whipped this bottle of Queen Helene mint julep mask out of my purse, brushed it under my eyes like war pain, and shrieked, inviting a skink to engage an invisible opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Freaked the fuck out, the skink dropped the dog and sprinted into Woodford Park. Also freaked the fuck out, the dachshund yipped while I swooped down to grab it, dodging oncoming cars. I ran down to Cab Avenue with a dachshund raised above my head, ears flapping like little magic carpets. <laughs> <laughs> there goes a flying dog, hollered a homeless, ma a homeless man. Hey, flying dog, you got a quarter? <laughs> Look, mama, a flying dog, squealed a toddler walking home with her mother. 
Humphrey's hold. What a beautiful flying dog, murmured a hippie when I stopped to catch my breath. The hippie rubbed noses with the dachshund, unfazed by the fact that it appeared to float midair. We should join the circus, the hippie whispered, feeding the dachshund a gluten-free ginger snap cookie. People will travel from all over the country to see the great flying dog. Come with me, he smiled, gently lifting the dachshund from my hands, sauntering toward Candler Park with the dog suspended above his own head. I stood with my hands on my hips, satisfied with myself. The hippie will provide the dachshund with a loving home, even when he discovers that it cannot actually fly or even cross the street. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would assume that Arnold Schwarzenegger invented the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. If consumers use it wisely, they can save the world and enjoy invisible pores. <laughs>